السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. You know, uh, we started the Jedwa Investment Company early 2006. Since then, we grow by 125%. So before I came here, I said, should I share this piece of news with you guys? You know, the, he will be coming to Saudi Arabia and competing with us and giving us hard time. You know, for, uh, uh, let me start uh, my presentation. Your Excellency, distinguished guest, it is an honor to be here. I want to. Uh, I was asked to uh, participate in this session. Therefore, I decided to share with you where the macro economy stands. The Saudi economy is strong. We forecast the economic growth at 7.1% this year. This will be led by the oil sector, which should grow by over 14%. The kingdom increased production by over 1 million barrels per day to compensate for the disruption to Libyan output. Saudi oil production is currently around 9.4 million barrels per day. The non-oil private sector should grow by 4.2%, the best performance since 2008. This is driven by government spending. A record budget of 155 billion US dollar was announced for this year, which was blustered by additional spending package total 133 billion US dollar that were issued in the first quarter. The budget is focused on improving the kingdom physical and human capital. Education, ac education accounts for 26% of the total spending, followed by health with 12%. The main components of this supplemental spending package was a commitment to build 500,000 new homes at a cost of 67 billion US dollar. The house shortage in the kingdom is estimated at around 800,000 units. In addition, around 11 billion US dollar was spent on a two-month salary bonus for public sector employees. A similar amount was injected into the Real Estate Development Fund. Five billion US dollar was allocated to the Saudi Credit Bank and four billion to the Ministry of Health. The house building program will continue over a number of years and will be a large stimulus uh, will be a, a large stimulus to the economy in the years to come for 2012 non oil private sector growth is forecast at 4.9% driven by construction and utilities both of which are key beneficiaries of the driven uh, of the drive to increase housing uh, provisions For the moment, the additional spending is affordable. Higher oil prices and production means that the budget surplus is expected to total 13.9% of GDP. Although oil revenue expected to, to fall, the budget will remain in surplus in 2012 at 3.6% of GDP. Even if, even if the budget fall into deficit, the spending can be financed by drawing down the large stock of foreign reserve. This stood at an all-time high of 518 billion US dollar at the end of September. Despite the additional spending, inflation has remained under control. It was 5.2% in October, little changed from where it was at the start of the year. Falling food prices and subdued prices of imported goods have offset a modest rise in the local inflationary pressure. Rent remain the main source of inflation at 8%. Regulatory reforms support the strong macroeconomic position. The kingdom has significantly reduced the time and cost of opening and closing business. And in most sectors, foreign companies operate on a level playing field without the need for local partner. It is ranked the 12th best country in the world to do business according to the World Bank. This has been reflected in, in, in inflows of foreign investment, FDI, 
FDI inflows in 2010 were 28.1 billion US dollar, 53% of the total for the Middle East and North Africa region. The next, the next largest recipient was Egypt, where inflow were just 6.4 billion. Performance of the stock market has been disappointing. The market has been affected by regional turmoil and by moves in the global markets, in part due to the large greater integration of local companies with the global economy. Foreign earnings account for 40% of the total revenues of the, of the listed companies. As a result, valuations are at their most attractive level since March 2009. The market is down by 7.7% so far this year, even though profit over the first three quarters of this year are up by 25% in year-on-year -year terms. The market is undergoing a gradual opening to foreign investors. It is by far the largest stock market in the region, and I encourage you all to take a look. If I may, just a few comments addressing specifically the title of this session, Opportunity to Finance and Investment. For, for decades, the Saudi financial sector consisted of 11 commercial banks that provided all financial services. As part of the government board reforms, the financial sector has been restructured and modernized so that today there are 26 commercial banks domestic and foreign, over 100 investment banks, and 31 insurance companies. All of the insurance companies are listed on the Saudi stock market. Most of these financial services companies have foreign partners or some form of active or passive foreign investment. So the sector has clearly opened up for local and foreign investors alike. And I assure you, it is dynamic and competitive. Our bank are liquid. Our banks are liquid and lending in the market and did not suffer significant from either the 2008 financial crisis or the current stress in Europe. So whether you would like to come to Saudi Arabia to invest in industry and look for local financing or invest in the stock market or be a player in the financial services industry, Saudi Arabia is a dynamic, growing emerging market with plenty of opportunity for U.S. businesses. Where are best investment opportunities? The strong economic environment under, under, underpins an array of attractive opportunities. In an environment of heightening uncertainty and volatility, stock market, the uh, volatile stock market that is closely linked to global markets, the real economy offers the most attractive options. The huge volume of work required in housing sector means that it will be challenging for the existing construction companies to cope, creating opportunities for, all, for, for other firms in the construction and related industries, industries that supply the construction sector with key input will be major beneficiaries of government spending. The huge planned construction work will also generate the need for a vast amount of raw material. Investors also have opportunities to gain from the likely, likely increase in consumer spending, particularly of those on low income. The impact of the introduction of the minimum wage and unemployment benefits and the ex extension of social insurance payment will last longer than the recent short-term post to spending triggered by the two-month salary bonus, as the payment will be regular. In addition, the house building program will cause a further influx of expatriates that have their own requirement. How is the, how is the investment climate affected by the turmoil in, in the U EU? The EU is an important trading partner. It accounts for 9.2% of the kingdom's total exports and 8.7% of non-oil export. Oil accounts for 85% of those exports. The main channel of problem in the EU 
to the kingdom would be through oil prices. So far, oil prices have held up through oil demand from the region has slipped. Local financing condition have deteriorated slightly, but not seriously. The interest rate at which Saudi banks lending to one another have risen, though the, pay, the, pace, the pace of increase has eased during November. Three months cyber is 72 basis points compared to a low of to a low point of, for the three years of 60 basis points at the end of September. The impact of any withdrawal of foreign deposit would be much less than after the collapse of Lehman, as foreign deposits are only 9% of the total deposits, versus 18% in September 2008. Furthermore, the kingdom's banks are funded by deposits rather than wholesale sources. So, so are less dependent on condition and funding markets. One clear impact is that the kingdom stock market has fallen and business and consumer confidence have d diminished. Finally, health of Saudi bank sector. The Saudi bank sector is highly capitalized with a capital adequacy ratio of 17.1%. Non-performing loans are only around 3% of total loans and are fully provisioned for, fully provisioned for. Provision is 116%. Banks are fairly conservative and have little exposure to the debt of troubled EU members. There has, there has been little effect on the banks from the terrible elsewhere in the region. Saudi banks have conservative lending policy and lending growth has picked up in line with the, the, with the improvement in the economic situation. In September, year-on-year -year bank lending growth was 9%. At the end of September, the loan to deposit ratio was 79.9%. The bank remained very liquid despite the, Deposits at SAMA and access of statutory requirement were 54 billion Saudi Riyal or 14.4 billion US dollar at the end of September as a result of high lending and reduced provisions. Banks' profit rose by 17% in the first three quarters of 2011 compared to the same period of 2010. Thank you very much.